Idaho Power has four parks and many recreation sites along the reservoirs in Hell's Canyon. Amenities and features include ADA restrooms and showers, picnicking, RV hookups, tenting sites, and boat ramps. These facilities can get busy in the late summer, and the recreation staff of the Environmental Department expected more than the usual crowds on the days leading up to the total solar eclipse on Monday, August 21st. Ann and Joe Hadley are the camp hosts at Woodhead Park on Brownlee Reservoir. Uh, this is our fourth year. I love it. My wife and I have a great time up here. Well, we, I went around trying to make sure everything looked decent for all the hundreds of thousands of people we were going to have and they didn't show up. <laughs> Driving through the parks, we saw license plates from all over the United States and Canada, but only about 10% of the available RV slots were occupied. Relicensing the Hell's Canyon projects includes extensive management of wildlife habitat along the upper reaches of Brownlee Reservoir. Along with a new campground and boat ramp at Moonshine Mine, Idaho Power helps Baker County maintain the old Snake River Road that connects Richland and Huntington, Oregon. Several sites along the road were prime eclipse viewing locations located right on the line of maximum totality, and we found a lot of folks parked along the Snake River Road. Here I met professional astronomers who had brought along serious viewing instruments and astrophotography equipment. This equatorial mount compensates for the rotation of the Earth and will keep the target, which in this case is the Sun, centered in the field of view. This random gathering of eclipsers waited patiently as the moon gradually ate away at the sun's disk until at last, totality. The temperature around us dropped from 90 to about 65. Stars and the planets became visible. The magnificent corona erupted around the black disk. Quickly, much too quickly, this once-in-a-lifetime solar spectacle was all over. So what would you think? Is that uh, worth coming for? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> After all that hype, visitor numbers coming in from all over Idaho indicate the eclipse was a bit of a bust. The next total solar eclipse is in July of 2019. Make sure you've got your passport up to date because you will be going to La Serena, Chile. Featuring additional photography by environmental technician Cindy Sorensen, this is David Bogie along the Burnt River Reach of Brownlee Reservoir for E-News. <laughs>